Most adventurers face a lot of challenges. How do I even get there? How do I get back again? What dangers will I encounter? And how do I survive? In fact, the challenges are what make most adventures well adventures. Come along and let's undertake a new adventure like nothing I have ever done before. I'm hiking alone on the Ozark Trail. I drive across Missouri on I-44, turning off on State Highway H. And then I'll drive down through Leesburg, through the Onondaga Cave State Park, to a camping paradise called Ozark Outdoors Resort. The staff here is wonderful. It's just a short walk from the store and I found myself at the trailhead. We're on the Ozark Trail. Now, this is different than the Ozark Highlands Trail that I attempted last year in October. This year, I'm not in Arkansas, but in Missouri. Got here, got here, oh, I guess it was around 1.30, so a little late start, but, uh, Hope to get in some miles today, and I'll camp tonight, and then tomorrow we'll have to cross the creek. I'll get my feet wet. Sometimes you just have to get out and see what's here. I haven't been able to do as much hiking as I really wanted, and uh, was going a bit stir crazy. If you if you ever been in that that place, now we got into Missouri, and there are a lot of really neat trails over here. I want to share some things about trail safety as we're out here, uh, especially for for new hikers, but even those of us who've been hiking for a little bit, got a few miles under us, we need reminders. And uh, you know, it's we don't have to be afraid, but when we stop respecting nature, that's when we'll start getting ourselves in trouble. Okay, well, all marked trails are usually either marked with blazes, which are oftentimes short, you know, little paintings on the trees. That's for that particular trail. Sometimes it's like the Appalachian Trail. It's a, a rectangle and uh, the long end is pointing up. And then if there's two blazes, one on top of the other, that's telling you that there's a turn coming up soon. If it's two blazes and the top blaze is offset to the right, that means you're going to turn to the right. If it's offset to the left, you're going to turn to the left. Uh, you learn to read the trail as you go along. And the, the Ozark Trail, it also has a blaze. It's these really cool looking... It's these really cool looking blazes that uh, the O and the T for Ozark Trail. And they're nailed to the tree. I don't really like nailing things into trees, but that's what they're doing here. But if you look at this one, you can see that it's it's cantered off to the right, which means the trail's going to turn to the right. If it's cantered off to the left, the trail would turn to the left. If it's just up and down, the trail is just straight. Uh, so as you hike, it's good to, to read up and to learn what the blaze is. It may be a rock carn, uh, like out in, out in Wyoming, you have these stacks of rocks. And sometimes they're called rock carns, is what I call them. Uh, and there's some people will call them cairns. And they're just little short pyramids of rocks, and they're, they're there to sort of bl to mark the trail because there's no trees when you get up above the tree line in the mountains. But here, you have that little white placard with the OT on it and when you see it it does a couple of things for you it just reassures you that you're on the trail you can read the trails like that in the states uh, I know that we have a lot of a lot of viewers from other countries I'd love to know how you guys mark the trails where you're at knowing how to read the trail is important Navigation is an important 
part of safety. And uh, so the blazes are part of that navigation. And I also have a paper map of this trail that I downloaded to sort of give me places and landmarks that I can watch for and just in case I get lost or in case that uh, the blazes are missing for uh, some section which can get you in trouble. Another way is this here. Um, there are several apps that you can use that tells you. You see that right there? That's telling me that's where I am and I'm pointing down the trail and this purple line is the trail that I'm, is the path that I'm walking. That's the trail. This is called GIA GPS. G-A-I-A -A GPS. I've used it before. I have a whole series of videos on how to use it. Uh, that was when I first used it for the Cherokee Trail. And then now I'm using it for this one because when I went to all trails, I, uh, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find this section of the Ozark Trail on the, on the uh, All Trails app. And I went to what's now called Far Out. Far Out used to be called Gut Hook. And it has, it's a great app that gives you major trails. Uh, this that I'm showing you now is the Appalachian Trail. And that's from uh, Standing Bear to Damascus, uh, a section of the trail. But it doesn't have the Ozark Trail on it either. It has the Ozark Highlands Trail, but not the Ozark Trail. So, not to be outdone, I went to Gia GPS, and sure enough, someone had downloaded this trail who had walked it before, and that's the power of this. Uh, you can generate your own path and your own trail the way I did with the Cherokee Trail. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll put a link up here. You can go and watch. Well, I walked a little piece on this service road here, and now it's intersected this one, this service road, but it gets back into the woods now. So let's, let's enjoy that. I, I like that a whole lot better to be back in the woods. Pretty, pretty area. Pine trees, just tall pines, some in some other uh, greenery, some oak trees, but uh, smells good. But it's still warm and uh, and still pretty dry. I'm anxious to see what the creek is like. Uh, if you look back on my Ozark Highlands trail adventure. Uh, I had to stop after about oh, 40, 45 miles because there was just no water. Well, I'm a mess. Uh, stopped to take a little break. Thought I'd take my hat off and my sunglasses off because it's just such a pretty day. here. Now they've got two blazes with a right turn and uh, I guess that would mean that it's a very sharp right. There are a few ups. I'm going up one here now. Not real bad but uh, it's a climb. After all it's the mountains. In a few weeks when the, the trees leaf uh, when they drop all their leaves, that's going to be beautiful out through there. The Ozarks is just cut through there. You can sort of see them. Not, not and uh, these rocks are a little bit hard on the knees, especially old knees. So, I just take my time. When 
I saw this on the map, I was hoping I could find it. It's not exactly on the trail like it shows on the map, but I, I had to climb up to it. But I saw this and I thought of Kevin, atypical hiker. Uh, Kevin, I think it's called spelunking, isn't it? Kevin, you tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, Kevin was a spelunker, and uh, which meant that he liked to explore caves. I wanted to come up here and, and share this with you. Uh, there's this one, and then down where I'm planning to camp tonight, there's another cave. They call it the Bat Cave. I hope it's named because there's bats that come out of there because the black flies have been terrible today. I don't know what the mosquitoes will be like, but if there's bats, I know that they'll take care of the mosquito problem. of it but you'd have to climb up oh about eight feet and then there's this sign here can't hardly read it but it says closed so well this just seemed appropriate this is the colonel trail and I'm a colonel so I think this is mine but no it isn't I don't want to take it from this Colonel Plasmeyer, Plasmeyer, Colonel Plasmeyer Trail. Uh, would not want to take anything from him. I salute you, sir. All right, we are just about to the end of our trail for today. This is where I'm gonna camp. You can see, day use only, camping allowed only from September 15 through May 15. Thankfully, today is September the 28th, so this is where I'm going to set up camp tonight. You can see it's getting pretty dark. Uh, but before it gets all the way, let me just sort of give you a little tour around camp. Uh, got my water here and uh, went down to the creek. Got me a two liter bladder of water. That's my water filter. Tomorrow morning, I'll filter some water and refill my uh, smart bottle water. Right here's my string, and that's going up to my bag, my food bag, which is right there. And uh, got a PCT hang here, and then got my tent set up over here. right there. That's the mouth of the bat cave. It's now 7.10. So another, another 30, 40 minutes, it's gonna be very dark. And I'll probably call it a night. So this'll, this'll end my first day out here on the Ozark Trail. I'll see you guys again in the morning. So told the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path. God bless you all.